Hi there, and in this video, we are going to be creating a Godot game with zero code, okay? Just by using a plugin, okay, that you can directly download from the asset library. It is called Block Coding, okay, exactly this one. So you press there, download, and now we are going to have it directly in our project. So this basically allows us to do some kind of basically visual scripting that we can uh, use instead of the normal code and actually i believe that this is the most a uh, published add-on uh, because there are some of them that can also do the job but this one is the one that does it uh, the best i believe and how this is done is uh, by doing the following so for example let me create a pretty simple a uh, player with an area 2d for example and i will add inside of it a collision shape and a sprite 2d by the way i'm using Control a which is the shortcut to quickly add a child node and that sprite, I will quickly use the icon and then use here the circle shape just so that we can set it up uh, quickly right there and I will just call this one player, okay? and I will save it into a corresponding scenes folder there we have it so now when we want to uh, code with these blocks what we have to do is to add a node inside of the node that we would actually want our script to be attached to and you look for the code block for the code block a node and if it doesn't uh, pop up let's firstly make sure that we go to the project settings plugins and here we actually have to enable it first and then it should pop up here we have it block code and we can create it uh, over there okay now, as you can see, as soon as I did that, I get this new tab block code that I'm going to make bigger. Oh, well, here we have the interface. Uh, the interface is super, super pretty. Uh, so for example, here we have when starting. Um, so for example, I will do a set scale to some value. Uh, so for example, I will set scale to 1010. So it's going to be quite big. So now our player should be much bigger. Okay, so there you have it. In, indeed, this uh, when starting block is basically the ready variable. And for example, we can press on the show generated script and it will actually show you how this would be coded uh, in GDScript code, just for you to, to know. Um, so indeed, you have here all the blocks uh, colored. So for example, the life cycle, this every frame would be process or process delta. I believe this one would be actually process. Um, then, for example, have uh, things related to the transform, so to position, to rotation, and to the scale. Then we can also uh, toggle the modulate, the visibility, and things that have to do with the viewport. Uh, we can also do things that have to do with sounds, inputs, and well, we have like lots of things that we would be able to do. I believe that mostly we have every single thing that we would need. And also it is quite interesting how collisions are managed over here. So for example, when this node stops colliding with or when this node collides with something, okay, then something happens. So it is quite interesting the way that everything is handled. And if, for example, I want to elite one block, I can just drag and drop it over there. And also what you have to know is that uh, if you have previously worked with code blocks, well, then this is going to be quite familiar. Um, but here, check out how they begin and end. So this will determine how they can be connected. So for example, these ones that in this case have like some kind of circle here, such as when starting and every frame, they can't be connected to uh, other blocks as far as I can see over here. Um, but then for example, this one of set scale does have that shape that is going to connect perfectly with this one. So it's also something that you have to start understanding. Or for example, have these other ones that are to drag and drop in certain places okay in this case well this is not valid with when this node collides with position this doesn't make any sense but uh, for example if we wanted to set the modulate to some modulate well here for example we would to drag and drop this modulate for example right over there which wouldn't make any sense i believe but well i believe that you do understand the uh, overall idea so for example, when this node collides with something, we can use a condition over here. So loops logic over here, if something, okay. So for example, and here you can see, we can see uh, that we need this kind of diamond shape uh, blocks. So let's see what we can put over there. So for example, what we want to do is to check if the node is in certain group, okay. So for example, let me quickly create here a brand new group. 
uh, I know why I have this group over here. I think that came with the add-on. Uh, for example, no enemy. Okay. So if this is in the group enemy, let me save the scene so that I can actually see it here. Well, I can't. So let's uh, try to update this maybe like this. Okay. I don't know how to actually uh, update this. Okay. There we have it. I actually had to create the, this group as a global group and then it popped up. So if this is colliding with something and that something is inside of the group enemy, then we'll do something. So for example, we'll log a text or for example, I don't know, um, collision detected with an enemy now let me super quickly set up an enemy a scene so basically here is my other enemy a scene um and by the way here uh, we have to turn on uh, advanced okay so we can see actually more blocks for example the physics step or the physics process actually actually here if uh easing group would be like i believe the current Yes, my, my actual node, but not the something uh, that is in group. So let me show you how to do that. So I basically use this other uh, block, okay, that allow me to select the enemy. Uh, basically, it is this one, communication. Uh, probably there is a better way of doing this or whatever. Um, because, well, this is using this uh, statement and it's not the best thing. It would be best to do something that is in group but I, I didn't find a way of actually doing that because I haven't used this before um but well as, as you can see if I run the project ah well there we have it okay collision takes it with an enemy I also want to say that sometimes when I run the project I don't know why like go out closes uh so well, maybe this add-on does need uh, some improvements or whatever uh, but also believe that this add-on okay as you can see has some examples okay so it has a pong game over here um so well, it seems quite interesting, I believe. So let's actually open this up. Um, and I don't really know. Let me say, Pong game, this one should be like the main scene. Yes. And so you can see all this is actually built with this. So if we, if we go to the block code, here we can actually like see a real example of this. Um, so here we have these ones are the, the, the blocks that I want to show you. That with just one block, every frame move with player one. This is basically this player on the left. But that's top down, and with this you have a, a, a movement working right here. Um, so it is quite quite interesting. Um, now, when you want to show the actual movement, it doesn't let you because this is a, a function that um, the plugin actually has. But anyway, it is quite interesting, and you can actually like go to all these block codes. Sorry, over here and basically see what exactly uh, they are doing in every single of them. Uh, so it is quite interesting to for actually those who prefer visual scripting. Once again, this is not natively integrated, so there are some issues probably, but for anybody wanting to, to prototype a little bit with this, you can do it with this add-on. If you are serious about leveling up your Godot skills, check out my course. In less than 6 hours, you'll master Godot fundamentals while building this amazing project. Links in the description. See you there.